Ah, this looks promising. <clears throat> I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's gotta be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um, like I don't know. <laughs> But there's got to be something. Well, if the gods see us, make <laughs> it for that cross. But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? Anyone else? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? Guerra wouldn't get noticed. 
That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room, kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? I just know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to of you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Really? Excuse me. Oh. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, uh obtained last year, you know, those hanging old thing. I don't know, abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant iceberg. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this great thing. Sell is just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Scusi? Excuse me. Excuse me.